Yeah, you have to be patient, Can of Worms. It, uh, OBS is sort of weird that way. There's a lot of setup when you do a stream. If you do it yourself, you'll kind of see what I mean. With a game like this, it, there's a little bit more. There might normally be. Alright, my usual mage setup is just... Um, spell casting and then schools, which would be conj as well if I had the spell already enabled. And... Um, IE doesn't have that. So this guy could be like more of a melee guy or he could be just a, a straight up blaster. Because you know, conj aptitude is fine. If you go with like something vaguely synergistic, you know, any of fire or conj or ice, uh, or you could do poison or obviously earth, um, this is one of the best start, you know, easy caster species that you can do. Are there apps with that? Right. Okay, I have my, I have new key mappings. <laughs> you see, yeah, incredibly, they are even easier than high elves. Hard to believe, but... So I just kind of mixed in a little bit of melee right there because um, I don't have I don't have a lot of MP. I didn't I only had three MP and a chance of a miscast is very real. So kind of trading some of my HP for some of that uh, damage, which you can do after you run out of MP. You don't have to do it preemptively. It's more just don't forget that you can you can do melee with zero skill. Well, that looks weird. I think my font may have changed a little bit. Maybe a system update. Gray Elf, yeah. I played a Gray Elf in a Nostalgia. That uh, glamour ability they had was pretty funny in that it was pretty useless. Oh no, Model Draconian Unknown Monster. Somebody seems to have removed Model Draconians. Who could that have been? What kind of evil dev would remove Model Draconians completely from the game? Monster Siren. Oh, that's interesting. Did those get renamed? Or is that just a typo? Huh, that might be a typo on... I'm not sure about that one. That's an interesting one. I wonder if I introduced a bug there. Yeah, so IE is like, uh, for people who... And I, I'm giving this commentary. Merfolk Siren. Okay, alright, fair enough. I must have not... It was not, it was actually Brannock, who was in this chat earlier. He's probably gone now. So I was, that was mostly just to uh, poke fun at him, but... Yeah, he, he, he removed uh, Model Draconians, the monster, and the player race. Model Draconians were... It was funny how people would debate Model Draconian the species, because they would all claim, oh, it's, the we it's so weak, and uh, it was one of the stronger ones. Its breath was actually really strong at, at that dangerous portions of the game, but people really found it unsatisfying. Um, so I'm just going to preemptively do int with this guy, because even if I do go um, a little bit more hybridy and other stats may become useful, um, I'm still going to want spells, and if I go full conjurations, I basically just want int. So I'm going to do that until that gets decided. Wow, it's Yogi the Monk. Welcome, Yogi. Yep, we just ascended Yogi, a uh, uh, ogre of Trog, and now we're doing, uh, we're starting up um, the little gargoyle. If 
But yeah, I guess so they did get remained, renamed Mamgar. Thanks for pointing that out. I'll have to go update my RC. Oh boy, we are getting dead right now. Dead to, uh... What are those called again? Ball Python? That would be embarrassing. Oh yeah, so I can uh, memorize Throw Frost now and start in on some uh, Conjurations, which is a good thing. I will um, take a detour and do... Um, I will take a detour and do three summoning to get Ice Beast because that spell is just so good. Can't really recommend not using that spell. You certainly could if you just really hate summons or otherwise don't want to use it, but it's so strong that you pretty much want to. Pretty much the strongest spell in the starting book by far. Um, Icicle is certainly a really good spell if you're going pure conj. Oh wow, Spelunky. I played so much of this version of Spelunky. Played it to death. And I haven't played the new one. Um, I think it's just because it's Windows native and it, it I, I don't, when I tried it, I don't think it ran all that well under Wine. I'd have to try it again. Because I'd like to at least, you know, beat it once. Even if my Spelunky days are kind of over. This guy. That's the thing about GR, is their HP is really pretty low with that minus 20, I think. Um, um, does Steam have a Mac version? I, I had thought it was completely Windows only, so... Unless they packaged up like some kind of wine thing, I, I, I wouldn't think they would, but I, I could be wrong about that. Yeah, free kill. Steam works fine, but the game has to be um, ported to the platform. Like, uh, I have Steam for Linux, but... Well, yeah, I, I don't think um, that's just having Steam... Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not... Just because uh, you have Steam for your... That does not mean every game runs on your system. Oh, okay, that's good. There is a Mac native version. Or, well, is that for the classic or for the new one? Watch out for worms, by the way. They, um... Yeah, that's right there. You saw me just basically nearly die to a worm, and now he's probably regen all the way up. That, that kind of sucked. Pole arms are kind of good for a regen, be or for a regen, for a worm, because, uh... Yeah, right, free kill. That would that would make sense. Because that one was um I think they like they they kind of ported it to like something some cross-platform thing. Symbol of torment. Yeah, Mamgar. That's that's a good idea. We should do that. Uh... There we go. So I am training spellcasting. I always train spellcasting at start just because having MP is like the biggest deal with these guys. Um, the more MP you have, the more spells you can cast. It, it makes such a big difference. So I like to train spellcasting at start for pretty much every mage. Which I'm not... I don't think I'm really alone there. And now we can do, uh... Ice Beast. So I'll go ahead and just turn off uh, what I have the most trained, which is Ice Magic. And... Do Focus Summoning, and we're just going to do that to three. Three is enough. By the time I get three summons, I can also have, uh... I'll have a little bit more ice, and I'll just be continuously training ice, so Ice Beast will continue increasing in spell power. And um, we'll get stronger. And that spell power is actually really nice for Ice Beast because, unlike, I mean, summons you don't need um, a lot of spell power. That's one, one of the many reasons why summons are strong. Uh, you can have relatively low int. 
relatively low spell power. But uh, Ice Beast is one of the spells where the summons are, their HD is influenced by the spell power. And you'll notice a huge difference between low spell power uh, Ice Beast and higher spell power. Gotta go straight for the Ice Beast. IE is a strong enough start that you can you can skip it, of course, because Freeze is really, really good. But, oh yeah, Alter Beast. Yeah, Quave. Uh, they do Henny. Yep, they still do, but it's not going to make any difference, um, especially for this guy who's going to be... He's going to be doing some kills with uh, Ice Beast, but it he's going to be doing plenty of Conjurations kills. Oh, wow, this fault. And uh, getting full XP. Even for Summoners, though, it's like the, the power of that school is such that it's not... So yeah, if you're fighting worms and you have a pole arm, it's it's pretty handy because I can just, you know, be hitting them and as I'm regening H MP. Don't want to fight a berserked uh, worm though. That is, that's not a good thing. Berserked rat you can actually handle, but. Well, there's the Trog Altar, but we're not going to do Trog. A lot of people really do dislike that ex lowering XP thing, and um, even if they know that it actually doesn't affect summons being strong or whatever, it just, they don't like the feel of that. Um, it's kind of nice from a balance perspective though. Because the, once you know how to use summon spells effectively, it's one of the very strongest schools. Pretty much a lot stronger than Conjurations. Conjurations do things that... Ki conjurations can kill extremely quickly, which is like one of their strengths, but... Um, summons just give you so much damage for each MP. Club, wow. She's got the big club. I'm a little afraid of that club. I don't know. Is that the Ijib 12? The plus 12 club? Yeah, I don't really do streaks. I have um I have a bunch of one and ones. I kind of like one and ones, but the problem with streaks is that I, for one, I do all sorts of. In the past, I do speedrun attempts, and I don't really like. I don't like to use a separate account, so all my speedrun attempts would always break anything, any streak, because those are just, you know, never successful. Never give up. Never give up. Well, we've got Nem, Oka, Trog, and your Red so far. I might do a quick vote. Maybe an informal one. My favorite uh, mage god is still Sif, of course, but I still need a Hep win. Serial. <laughs> Serial loves red. I am not a huge red f fan. Not because he's not strong, it's just because he's red. 
I, and with conjurations, he's I'm pretty much vetoing Ured because he would not be he would be a pain. I mean, um, you can still do it. It's just he blocks. Uh, okay, so Trog is vetoed. Ured is vetoed. Um, man, that leaves Ured and Nam and Oka. I am going to explore one more floor before I even consider a vote, just so we can have a few more options. Yeah, Hep and Summoning. Hep and Kanj, I am not the biggest... Nem is another one I really don't like for this character because uh, Nem is fairly redundant if with heavy usage of spells. Not that Nem isn't strong, but... So he wouldn't be my preferred choice. Oka would be definitely committing it to more of a. Wow, that was a that was quite a good hit. Oh damn, I didn't memorize Ozos. Jesus, that wasn't too bright. What if I can net this thing? Well, the answer is yes, I can. Good, but okay, that was it. Now we got ice beast. We're we're good, but yeah, I forgot to memorize Ozo. I have no idea why I did that. That was a massive boo boo. Not that it would have been great to really melee that thing. And then, yeah, we'll want to throw Icicle. Oh, good, another one. Yeah, Rue is is viable. I'm I'm also out of... As you can tell, there's a lot of gods that I don't super like playing. There's a list of about five or so that I kind of look forward to, and there's a larger list of ones that I'll play, but not super enthused about. Rue is, uh, Rue is a good generalist god. Goes with pretty much anything. Oh boy. This guy would be a little bit hard to take down with, um... Yeah, Kiku makes sense. Uh, Kiku is, is sort of like the middle tier of ones that I don't really look forward to, but is like, alright. You know. And this is not a comment about the god being strong or anything. Various gods are like, Kiku is insanely strong and Nem is insanely strong and all that. But it's more just like which ones I find fun. This guy's a little bit too close to try to take him out solely with Throw Frost. I'd have to like, try some... Um, Okay, maybe we can get lucky with the teleport. Enchant armor. Enchant up those gloves. Never play with Mac. Maclub is one that I do like. I like Mac. Gives you one really nice passive and gives you pretty fun actives. Mostly the summons. Um, the low level conj stuff is. It, Mac would not be a preferred god for this character if he's doing spells, so I, I, I don't like gods that just basically give you effects that are similar to your spells because it's, it's, it fits less well. We can still go with the Vehemoth or Sif approach. I'm kind of hoping that maybe one of those two will drop on this level. Weapon Emporium. Oh yeah. Morning Star of Drain. That's a good what? That's a good item. Glaive of Chopping. Mace of Protection. That's also nice. But uh, Morning Star of Drain's probably. These guys are. Again, this is one where I'd be more likely to train a weapon. I did just go maces, but I definitely would prefer to just use their aptitude. Morningstar is pretty sick.
can enchant that up a few points, and that's good for a long time. I think I'm just going to go ahead and buy that. A slave. Oh, looks like we got pickle. We're in a pickle, guys. Oh, and he's got a whip of... Well, that's not actually going to help me too much. If he had a whip of a lek, it'd be great. I'm just going to freeze this guy a few times and then... Probably die to him, it looks like. You can see that... Um, He's almost dead, but he's uh, he's got pretty good damage, actually. And again, I'm still zero skill with my melee, so my Morning Star is not super effective. Also got a sling. Sling is surprisingly effective with uh, zero skill. Oh, the other thing I should be remembering to cast is uh, Ozos. Which I'm not going to train charms for a while, it's just going to be, you know, ice magic. I can already cast it right now and get a little bit. Okay. Oh, he's hitting me. Yeah, that's really bad. Now if I'm going to do this, I need to take him out through Frost. There we go. That's, yeah, the using the sling there is kind of dicey. I was giving him all these free hits, and that's just not good. Gotta pull him up because. Do I have Ice Beast? Damn. That is not. Oh. That's right, I don't have. Don't, don't I have RC? I don't. They don't have an 8 RC. Well then. I kind of assumed GR did, but it's been so long since I played one. That... Been cutting it close, not not gonna lie. Okay, so we overtrained summons a little bit, but no big deal. No biggie. It's interesting, I've not actually um I think I do prefer Draconians. Uh, they feel stronger as mages than these guys do. These guys don't feel as bad as deep uh, deep elves, even though they I think they do have the same HP because that AC bonus is, is nice. Freed Slave. But yeah, the there's a delay on this sling of 1.2, so I was giving uh, that ogre a lot of free hits. It looked like you had a gap, but he's still getting a hit on you. So it's not so good. Dire Flail. gonna make him kind of hard to kill without Ice Beast, and Ice Beast is still a little ways away. Oh, and we need to, we still can't do Icicle. Interesting. We're probably very close though. Oh yeah, 97%. Should go get a level up. Running 
I think I've heard this one requested quite a lot. God damn it, Nightbot, listen to me. Alright, so now we can memorize Throw Icicle. That's a cool, that's a really good uh, damage upgrade. It's going to have pretty low spell power and not the best accuracy, but it's going to be nicer than Throw Frost because it does a lot more damage. It doesn't have nearly as good range, but that's alright. I'm not going to use it against this worker amp because they have uh, they have pretty crazy EV. Frilled Lizard. Oh yeah, that's right. Leopard Gecko and Frilled Lizard. I forgot. I'm gonna put this sling on the damn it. Yeah, that'll work. Cause this is just like some free damage on relatively low level stuff. There it is, we found temple. Every single god except Usk, who we would not really want to go anyway. I really should have a god pole. But I don't have one. So I guess people... Um, I could probably... <laughs> no, we, do, we did a Zom run. Zom is special location only. Um, Kiku is, uh, oh yeah, no TSO, that's okay, um, let's see, hold on, I'm vetoing Che, um, I should allow a multi-pull, I'm just, sorry, I can't, I'd have to type them all out. I'll put up the ones... wouldn't really like Kiku, that wouldn't be... They're sort of... Yeah, Kiku would just seem off, like, what would I do with Kiku? I'd sort of go into Necro. Is my necro actually? Turn, um, yeah, they're minus two. That, yeah, that's not so hot. So I'll veto that. Nam is another one I'm gonna veto. Rue is. I I don't really want to do Rue. I guess I can allow Ash. Uh, there was only a weapon shop, and I bought the best thing in there. Don't really want Zen or Ured. We just did Trog. That's that's a pretty good list of gods. And I don't want to do Feras. So I'm gonna go uh, pour myself another drink of tea, and uh, I'll be back in just a second. Feel free to vote. We can still do the traditional mage gods of Sifrave, but uh, there's a few other choices. Yeah, I mean, with the minus two necro, that it, it's viable. But I've also done a, a, a fair. I haven't done a Kiku char two recently. I do need to do one. But yeah, minus two necro kind of sealed that for me. The thing about using a lot of allies with conjurations is it's a pain. And uh, Hep is not as bad because it's just one ally, so it's a lot easier to deal with. But if you've got a bunch of summons and it makes it really hard, or a lot of uh, undead, it, it makes it kind of difficult because you can't really use your conjurations. Which, I mean, I don't have to with this guy. But anyway, yeah, put in some votes and I'll be right back.
Yep, I see it's basically a two-way tie between Hep and Dith, and I am not the biggest fan of Dith. I think I already have two Dith wins. I could have excluded him. I mean, actually totally viable god for this character, but Dith doesn't really excite me too much. I'd, Dith would be kind of cool for a stealth-based character that had a little bit harder time getting up as very high stealth. And had other good stuff to supplement them that made them very strong. So if a species like that existed, maybe. I think ogres still have a horrible stealth app, so you could do a stabby ogre with Dith, probably. But I'm not sure I'd want to deal with minus four stealth. Yeah, Hep, it, Hep is, I think, what we're going to do. Because it's a two-way tie right now between um, Dith and Hep, and I'll, I'll vote for Dith. You know what, Free Kill? I'm going to say that you're a filthy liar. You're just making stuff up. And there's nothing you can do to disprove it. Marduk Asser. Somebody voted for a dith probably because I just said that. <laughs> that it's a tie and they went and voted. That's my guess. Marduk Asser. I don't actually have a meme name, meme name for this guy. Oh, it's not long enough. Oh, so yeah, right, so the class is not until I get, like, more piety, right. He's just a generic little dude. Um, so for Edmund here, you can just kind of exclude him. Don't super have a need to... He has a, a dire flail that's kind of cool. Good damage. But I'd probably prefer to... Let me pick that up. Don't super need it at this point, but definitely don't need stones. Yeah, there are a lot of memes. It's a lot of memes to be up to date on. Okay, so this is our first orc warrior, and he's got a trident. That's always fun. We're going to try to go the Ice Beast route for this guy. And uh, we got two of them, so that's great. I should make pretty short work of him. Oh, we also got the Orc. The Orc Priest. Uh, how's he doing? Did he get damaged? Yeah, he's almost dead. That's good. And we'll... Uh, Okay, there he goes. Ice Beast, yeah, he even hit the invisible uh, orc wizard. Ice Beast, too good. That guy also had plate. That's a scary orc warrior for D4 for a, for a mage to try to contend with. Is it test spawner? It's probably the test spawner, which is like the special like HD 100 thing. Oh, Chatty has this thing where it would... It's probably this thing. Just has like shadow creatures and Phantom Mirror as a spell and Plane Rend. Is 
So if you get groups of monsters, well, yeah, this could be scary actually, because now they're all, or they're starting to get all, uh, wow. Nope, miscast again. So that was like three miscasts in a row and there's not a lot I can do about it. Halberd of Venom, that is nasty. I could teleport. Um, is this guy fast? Yeah, he's fast, so... Eh, I'll teleport. Kinda sucks to have to use a scroll, but... Not that big of a deal. The other nice thing about Freeze is it still works just as well on invisible monsters that are right next to you. Um, Pleasing Fungus plugged it into... Yeah, it plugged it into our usual name gen, I think, um, which generates the names you see for shopkeepers for pan lords I, I'm not sure if he has any special tweaks for it but it's that it's that same um, Name gen system. Tried in a piercing. Yeah, the, <clears throat> I mean, Trident of um, Distortion is really bad. It's n but I wasn't I wasn't saying that to imply it's like the worst possible, but it's still pretty bad. I'm our poison, so there, uh, that's good at least. But also, usually, if you see it have an ego like that, it's probably going to be enchanted, so it's going to be worse than usual. In this case, it actually wasn't, so worked out okay. Took a nice little damage from this cast right there.
Wow, that D4 took a long time. Yeah, he did Svara, but it was a Dire Flail. <clears throat> the kind of thing that I'm not going to be using as soon as I find a... These guys actually have good shields, don't they? Yeah, they're plus one. Um, I probably wouldn't get a medium shield. There... Was it... Did I... Yeah, uh, there was a medium shield, but... Book of Air, very nice. Repel and Swift. Good spells. So once this gets to maybe about eight <clears throat> in each, um, by that point, Icicle will be pretty low fail rate, have a little bit of spell power behind it, and I can go ahead and switch and train some defenses. Oh wow, man, Lunar Silver Star. I remember playing this game on Sega CD. That's kind of cool. I played the original. This game had so many remakes. It had like, I think it had a remake on Sega CD or maybe it was PlayStation, but it had like two main console remakes and then it got remade like on Game Boy or something. One of the most remade games. We got the one star. Oh no. The only way you can defeat the Ice Beast. Um, it could, yeah, that was probably the first major remake, but it got remade and kind of like redone a bit. It had like, I, it had at least three and it may have even had like four. But yeah, the PS1 was probably the first remake. But yeah, they probably didn't re remake it for... Yeah, it's going to be uh, Ice Beast if I can cast it. And I can, and then just poke from behind them. Usually it's enough. Even one, it can be enough to take it down. But you can see right there, so this guy just died. And then he got in a good freeze hit on me. I really should try on this ring, but... Now I have to be a little bit careful, actually. Because, uh... Okay. Low H... So spell power on, on uh, Ice Beast is still really low. They die really fast. And that was a good example of that. One Ice Beast was able to help take down, uh, was able to take down two. God damn it. Okay, that worked. That went a little bit better at least. Haven't had a lot of scrolls this game. Well, I guess we have. We've had all single stacks, I should say. I'm just going to go ahead and enchant these gloves. Gloves are hard to... Uh, hard, take a long time to improve on, so... You might have to resubmit that jerk store because Nightbot has, has a pretty heavy command throttle. Although, I wonder... So, uh, if somebody else does a command and you do it right after, it will... It'll be like, sorry. So yeah, just uh, re feel free to resubmit it if, if it ignores you. Uh-oh. Um, sorry, Jink. Not that this isn't bad. 
but I worry about uh, copyright. Yeah, he he's um actually I don't know where he Huh, I guess he got stuck somewhere. Castlevania rap perfect selection, bloody tears, god damn it. Jerk store. Dot probably doesn't know about the That cover was not gonna get the VOD muted. Oh well. It's great. Yeah, it's gonna be great when I skip it, jerk story. That's what's gonna be great. When I look forward to skipping that one. I Huh. Is that new that display? No, it's probably not going to have copyright. Oh my god. This is getting the one minute rule. Is that new, that display, the way it shows it like that? Why does that look new to me? That must be new in Trunk, that. I think somebody else requested this at some one point and it was a person who kept requesting like video game hip-hop yeah I should go into the sewer really I'm just kind of messing around Yeah, this is basically the world, um, this is my life now. I, I enabled Twitch song requests, so. This is the world that I created. Oh, this is the frog one. This is good, because this is easily done with, uh, Ice Beast. And Conj, too, but Ice Beast especially. River Rats, you guys remember these, right? These monsters just need to be straight up removed because they're not like particularly interesting. Oh my gosh. How long does it take for sewers to time out? Um, I don't actually know the average. It, you've got basically you almost always have enough time to track it down and uh, they're all portals are the same I believe however I'm I'm one who usually uses magic map probably a little bit too liberally just so I don't have to deal with it to, to help maximize my chance of getting it because if you get oh this is thanks for requesting that now we can skip to a good song, which is Sewer Surfing. Not my favorite track from this game, but a good one. <laughs> That's right. Wow, a ring just sitting here? Do these generate random loot like that? That's weird. I didn't know that this map would do that. I thought all the loot would be contained in one area. Maybe it is actually just... Look at Marduk here. He's going to town. It's like, Gamma Funk, I got these rats. I got him. Maybe he's jealous of the Ice Beast. He's like, why are you making Ice Beast when you have me? What do the Ice Beast do that I don't do? Yeah, I mean what Tam Tamala said, you can you can get bogged down and then what can happen is you can get involved in a nasty fight that you have a hard time running from and then you have to take other stairs and it, it can get silly. 
I mean, mapping doesn't necessarily avoid that, of course, because... Well, this is a, this is a ruckus we got going on right here. I gotta be careful. But all the summons, I made all the summons, and you can see it does pretty good work. Okay, I... So once we get maybe ice up to eight, I will start probably with some fighting. That is most of the... Oh yeah, this was actually a little bit different than I thought it was. I was thinking this is the circular one with the... Is there... I don't think there's anything behind this rock wall. It's kind of weird how it's got like little... Maybe there is. I wonder if there is. Sewer surfing was your ringtone. Yeah, actually, Jerk Store, I, I think you're the same Jerk Store from the SA uh, thread. And your, your avatar, I always wondered where that came from. And I saw that movie, um, or at least parts, watched parts of it for the first time recently. And then I saw that guy in that movie. I was like, oh, crap, where, that's where that movie, or where that image came from. Yeah, Yogi. Gotta love the ASCII mini window. Gotta, you gotta have it. You want to be the number one crawl streamer on the internet? You need the, you need the ASCII. Got a whip here, guys. Thinking of training maces and f oh, freaking hell! Look at this fragile. Can you believe this? This is actually a decent little whip. What the heck is this now? Yeah, I do that. I don't do. I do a mini window, and it the window only shows my LOS because obviously I can't fit the whole game screen and the tiles. But most people, currently about 92% of players use tiles, and it's hard for people to interpret. It's mostly just so console people have maybe something they can look at, and it's also fun for tiles people to kind of see what console looks like. Uh, when so there was a game where. Um, the server admin was uh, ooh, getting kind of damaged here. Uh, was uh, messing around with web tiles and only console worked, and I did that for I did a full console game for for a while. Well, we got the bear, so I'm gonna again go for ice beast. If you're at all worried, like icicle is good to use, but until you really get your MP higher, you'll get probably a lot more damage out of ice beast. And it can take down pretty much anything. Gosh, this is... What is this? <laughs> oh, you used to switch to tile for streams. Yeah, that's... That makes sense. What I do... Uh, I don't know if you know, Yogi, but you can... Um, oh, but you... Well, you know, you play online, so... Um... You can what I, the way I do is I play console and I stream the web tiles output. It's kind of more to set up, but um, if uh, if you play console games, people can watch you in web tiles. It support it makes it makes the output of both simultaneously. So you can actually play on console and then people can spectate you in web tiles and you can stream the web tiles like you know capture your your browser and that's how I'm doing it right now because I'm playing online on CBRO. But it is a little bit more to have to set up, which is sort of a thing. Oh, we got more Toho coming in. I know it. I feel it. I can sense the Toho. Even though Dynast is not here, I sense it. Yeah. Well, we did fix the lag. Uh, there was a JavaScript bug that was really silly that was in for years and years, and somebody finally pat looked at it and patched it. And so WebTiles is much better than it used to be. It still has some lag, but it's a lot better. In fact, the real-time uh, crawl, the fastest real-time wins, are all in WebTiles now. 
because uh, the difference in lag is really not too bad anymore. There is still a difference, but it's not nearly as much. Oh, this is a... Oddly appropriate for Crawl somehow. I don't know why, but this music suits this game. We got orcs. We got all the orcs. Straight up orc city over here. I'm still using this whip. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm at the point where I don't really have to swap to like a pole arm so I can kind of sit on this whip for a while. Yeah, it, that that is true. It is the perfect I'm about to die music. I am um, not really doing a great job of read IDing my scrolls here. Have I ID'd magic now? Maybe I'll go ahead and go downstairs really quick. Yeah, for the people wondering about the XP thing, the way the XP sharing works is it keeps track of all the damage done to a monster over time, including like, you know, regen, if it if it gets, you know, if it heals up and you damage it again and you heal it up, etc. And it looks at the damage um, done by you versus the percent of that damage that was done by you. So I guess it tracks both the damage that you do and the damage just done to it cumulatively and um, and uh, you get whatever's greater 50% or the percent of damage uh, that you did as a as a portion of the XP so if you did you know 90% of the damage you're gonna get 90% of the XP and if you did 0% of the damage you'll still get 50% This is octopode music. Octopodes are pretty classy. They like to wear things like monocles and top hats, so I guess I could see that. I guess I really could. There's our magic map. Poison resistance, all right. <laughs> now we got to back up our poison. No, that ring is uh, completely useless for us, sadly. Uh, identify, I really do like to use on some of these high level wands because it's a lot of free damage. But I also like to use it on potions. Ice Blast is uh, irresistible damage, kind of like Icicle, so it is still really good. But uh, of course, I've got Icicle and Ice Beast, so. But uh, Acid is really handy. Recharging, hello. Um, I guess we'll do Acid. Yep, that worked out pretty well. And fog. Immolation. Oh, this is the Korean technique. The Koreans love this about Hep, or at least some have. When uh, when Hep was uh, new, they when I was playing on uh, that Hask on uh, the Korean server, so I could hear the sound patch. They kept bringing up. They have a special image meme for this, where they you send your an you immolate your ancestor and then send him to attack something or use maybe a uh, transference and like you know do the thing where you swap and then he's like a little he's like a little immolation bomb but we're actually going to rest that off because I don't need him blowing up in my face I don't need my ancestor blowing up killer bees bees are scary which I think pretty much everybody knows. And they're pretty scary for mages. They uh, are pretty killable with Ice Beast. They're very killable with Freeze as well. And uh, that's great because they have really high evasion. I do have our poison, so that's helpful. But this is also kind of a lot of bees. And I don't have a lot of MP, but we're doing okay. Oh God, the Zen, do not. The, I, I do recommend trying the CWZ thing and um, 
the sound thing. You can actually try it on any WebTile server. There's a code in my uh, LearnDB entry you can look up that shows what you can put in your browser bar to, to load it. And uh, then you can hear the sounds on any server, um, any WebTile server. But do not, I do not recommend the Zen Sound module. That one is, it's too much. The world is not ready for the Zen Sound module. Um, yeah, I guess HEP is, is, um, where do they list it? Grand Powers, maybe that's under, HEP likes it when you explore. So yeah, you only gain it by exploration, I guess. So I guess, um, his, his piety gain is maybe just somewhat slow in general, but you do get the ally from like the moment you worship with it, which is really strong. Box of Beasts, some of the usual suspects. In all likelihood, I will not buy these, but for things like Evokers, it's nice to have them on the list. And the world is ready for the sound module. Yeah, it's the way it's done is a, an awful hack. It's basically message matching, so it's looking for. Oh wow, I can uh, now I can define my ancestors. So, well, I guess it wouldn't be a democracy if I didn't put it up for a vault. V vote, vote <laughs> for a vault. So there that goes, a new poll. Just what we needed, just what the world needed. More democracy, more freedom. I will be uh, right back. I'm gonna take a quick bio break and uh, then we can choose a HEP ancestor. Also suggest any meme names for the ancestor because uh, I haven't been able to come up with any good ones. Even my last run, I really didn't. I'll be right back. Wow, guys. Great, great meme suggestions. I'm really proud of you all. Some, some good stuff here.
sorry, Carfunkel. Shadow the Edgehog is pretty good description of the Sonic franchise. It's a good summary. Let's see. We can we can swap it around. Yes, Art Garfunkel is definitely a better name. I swear, a pleasing fungus made this guy just so he could he could add the name the name stuff. You may not admit it, but I think it's the truth. As if Crawl needed another ally god. We've got plenty of gods that make allies, but he wanted to have that name, Jen. Wow, battle mage. Four to three overnight. Yeah, Knight would have been a good call. Hexer is really, really strong, but I am past that early game surviving thing. It has pretty good synergy though, even with, with a mage who does blasty because it gives you sort of more hits. Knight is kind of cool for like tanking things that you're scared of, although I do sort of have Ice Beast. So Battle Mage is going to be like magic plus plus plus. But. Who am I to question the wisdom of uh, the Democratic vote? I guess we'll just go... Well, actually listen this time. I don't know, can you examine this guy and see what he has? Throw frost and <laughs> great. So we both have throw frost. Ooh, rune leather. That's good stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> leather is a good upgrade for characters like this because uh, it doesn't it doesn't decrease their ability to cast spells too badly. You can see that I pretty much don't have to. Ten percent is still something you'll feel because I don't. One thing I don't have a lot of right now is MP, unless I get a magic ring. And so each miscast definitely has a big effect. Um, so even a 10% or so miscast rate can be can make a big impact on, on winning on whether or not you win a fight. But all the same, actually I don't have remove curse identified, but that stack is probably it. Okay, 14%. That's a lot of AC and uh, RF, which is pretty cool. So we'll keep that, and we'll just have to... We're still working on ice magic. So yeah, this is usually the opposite of how I do my god choices of like choosing a, a god that gives you something that really duplicates what you have. I just sort of went with the Twitch vote this time. <clears throat> but what I would recommend is more thinking about, well, yeah, there are those miscasts we were talking about, is thinking about choosing something that actually is synergistic with what you have trouble or choosing something that solves problems that you have tr uh, trouble with. So Knight would be a pretty decent choice for this guy probably and Hexes would... Hexes is kinda just fairly universal. I mean they're all pretty universal to be perfectly fair. It's just that the Conjurer... Um, I mean it's not even about like the fact that he has Throw Frost so much because I'm not... it's not like I'm using that spell and it's not like too many things resist it. Wow, that's uh, these hogs, they do some damage. Looks like we got an ancestor upgrade.
the usual that is the usual method free kill i've been in a generous mood be i think because i've not streamed and i feel bad about it i wanted to pretend like i'm trying to keep a keep an audience it's good to at least keep up like you know the appearance that that you listen to your uh that you listen to your twitch chat That's how you get all those big donations, of course. Somebody's like, wow, this guy's really listening to my vote. Let me give him $100 of my money so that he'll make more Twitch polls. I'm pretty sure that's how you get that's how you get the big uh, Twitch bucks. All right, so we hit eight in both of these. Um, next cutoff is probably going to be eight. Are we... I am actually gonna turn off, so we're not. I'm gonna keep working on uh, spell casting, but do some. Well. Mostly fighting. I mean, the dodging is unfortunately low skill, but it's still really good to have, to be honest. And my best kind of bet, because I'm not gonna get too much from. I'm not going to get too much from training armor skill. I'm probably never going to go big into armor. That could be an approach for this guy is sort of back away from spells and hybridize and and kind of use battle mage as a... Oh, hello. Welcome, Chabridos. Wow. That is that is pretty sexy. Oh, by the way, Chabridos, I don't know if you saw these major changes that dropped today. But um, particularly this one about a certain species that uh, you've played extensively. Let's just say that your greater ogre is now sort of invalid because... Ogres are, ogres are now revamped. All those ogre book starts, you gotta go back and play those like for real. Because now ogres are like kind of like Basa light, Basa Han light. I have not used uh, throw icicle like at all, but I can if I wanna actually damage something with like a ranged attack, that's a pretty good call. It's actually got a very low miscast rate. Weeb. Yep. Kind of just balancing it out since they still strongly want to go M and F. Um, you know, because giant spike clubs are still what they are. And uh, zero plus zero pole arms plus zero staves. The thing about it being minus one, we might change that at some point, but. Yeah, they lost the uh, they lost the the crazy and uh, and I mean it's not really going to change it, Che. In terms of like, if you want to do giant clubs, you'll still do very well. Yeah, I mean it, we could it it would be fine with me. MPA just did it to avoid like you know he did increase their magic apps a lot and gave them int, so that's a big like. Uh, that's a big power level increase for all those book starts. And uh, I think in part he wanted to help keep the species a little bit balanced, but that's something that could be changed. There was talk about maybe tweaking giant spike clubs and giant clubs maybe a little bit so that that would be less necessary, but we'll have to see. That is something that could be maybe tweaked. Gosh, I'm Right, what is this? I'm not even paying attention to what this guy is. Demon Spawn Fighter of Mach. So he probably has pretty good melee, but does he have resi He has no resistance and not all that much. So he will probably die to a swarm of ice beasts, I hope. Oh yeah, he didn't stand a chance. Ice beasts are often pretty good for ghosts. A lot of ghosts do have RC, but quite a lot don't have RC because uh, they don't get any innate RC, so 
yet another thing that ice yeah I mean ogre mages are just a dream but I mean that's kind of what they got sort of turned into just without any they basically became like Basa are and I think a lot like ogre mages were too I don't know what the old ogre major apps were exactly but I think that was the general idea got a little bit better at short blades still bad but you know short blades it doesn't really matter There's that shining one, Alter. I will have to do, uh, I just ascended my, my old ogre. I will have to do a new one. Maybe not in the next. It'd be fine if it was a mage, actually. That would be okay. Um, yeah, they might have had more of a spread. They may not have been flat, but I mean, ogres now have... Passable. I mean, you can certainly call it mediocre. They're basically across the board mediocre. Done with ogres for good. I, yeah, I'm, I think you earned being done with ogres regardless of any change. But uh, I still have um, to get a century player, so I'll, I'll be winning some more ogres. He's a little bit scary, Joe, so thankfully he did not wake up. So the way to kill him would be to get in. I've got already 15 AC from that level up, so that's a big... That's a lot of AC to have, actually. Distant slurping noise. So we're going to make a lot of ice beasts. I'm gonna cast Ozo, and we're probably just gonna try. Well, I'll. Okay, there we go. Just freeze him. Down he goes. No problem. I can actually go ahead and dump this sling. Any sling bullets, because I'm not gonna be using that. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise. I mean, if they had had, um, like some random schools that they were good or bad at, it wouldn't have surprised me at all, but that also doesn't surprise me. I never actually played Ogre Mage. I, I did, well, no, I didn't even play it in Nostalgia. I actually recall that one of the commits, Nostalgia was a joke branch, for those who don't know about it, but that was done on April Fools, where we took a bunch of features that were in previous versions of Crawl and basically resurrected them. So like old vehement that supported you know all the schools and ogre mages and all the old species gnomes and elves or gnomes and gray elves and and also all sorts of other things. Not victory dancing. That was a little bit uh, too hard. There's Maurice. Um, the problem with Maurice is I actually don't have any C in Viz. So if you get enough... Oh, I, if you can corner him and figure out where he is... Oh, yeah, there we go. I guess he was not where I was freezing. Kind of did a bad job of that, didn't I? Yeah, we did bring back Hive. Um, I don't think you can... You could play it uh, online. Yeah, there's the branch 
for it and you can see the commits and you could compile it and play it but it was a pretty fun April Fools and um, I don't I don't think I played Ogre Mages I think Crate did though I was um, watching Crate play it and uh, he had the funniest bug and we had no idea what was going on so one of the other changes was uncapped summons and summons that hit out of LOS Yep, there's Grum. He's one to watch out for, mostly because, you know, he by himself isn't super hard or anything, but if you if those wolves um, get you cornered, for a lot of characters, it's scary. Oh, look who it is. Prince Ribbit with the band. Ice Beast is pretty good against Blink Frogs, but uh, they that's because they, you know, despite the blinking, uh, they, they slow... Yeah, you can see he does, but Blink Frogs do do a ton of damage, so you can't be, um... And your Conjurations might have a hard time hitting. Do you have any other spells, Swift? So that's going to be the challenge with this guy. Yeah, I probably do really need to think about a weapon, because I'm, I'm going to have Icicle, but, um... this guy have now? Stone Arrow. I don't know what, what he got upgraded. No, yeah, I, my old race experience. I, my first, the first game where I got a win was 0-10, and I think I played some 0-9, but that's about it. our remove curse yeah I want to say we talked about bringing that one back maybe oh so anyway I was talking yeah there was a couple funny bugs that happened um, I think crate was playing ogre mage I'm pretty sure he was playing that but he anyway he did a sue and so that it, you could do the old uncapped summons you know spammels really in the sense of like spamming them like filling the screen with them and such and so it was not just the uncappedness, it was also, um, ooh, ring mail. That's a potential upgrade armor. It's, uh, it's low enough encumbrance that, um, what is it, CR? Yeah, so I have more than enough strength. That's definitely a, a potentially good one. But that, those stairs are a little bit scary. Okay, just take your, t all right, well, I guess this is what we're doing now. We're gonna fight Knowles, and uh, so he was playing uh, Ogre Mages for the old uncapped summons, and I think I was just spectating him, and we were just sort of, you know, talking about the various aspects because he had played more old of the older versions than I had, and uh, wasn't playing as much those days because he had already, you know kind of played crawl a lot but he he was playing some of nostalgia for that purpose and then he got to lair and uh, lair had been changed to have more levels like the old the old branch length so it was like god it, you know the old the recent recently it's six before that it was it was eight and I think this was like 12 or something, or I don't know what it was it was long and also the layout I think was different and yeah, it was. I want to say it was past. Maybe that branch length did not change, but the layouts changed. Anyhow, um, he got down to layer, and all of a sudden, um, 
he couldn't cast his summons. He just cast them and they did nothing. They cost MP, they didn't miscast, and they weren't doing anything. And we were like, what the hell is even going on? We were just totally confused. And one of the layout changes was that it made a ridiculous amount of plants and fungi and stuff. The old layouts used to make a lot more of them. Yeah, so it was probably 10, like free kill. And um, I think it even scaled so it like, as you got lower, it made even more plants. And like, plants were, they were big in Old Crawl, let's just put it that way. Not that they're not big now, but you, you see a lot of plants in Crawl now, but in, in older versions there was even more. And what happened is it filled up the monster table. There were so many plants, and given the existing monsters, that no new monsters could be created, and so you could not summon any monsters. And once I figured that out, I uh, told him he thought that was pretty great. And that was one bug that was really good that happened in uh, Nostalgia. The other was with Terpicor. Um, if I can remember how to spell the name. Yeah, this is a unique... I don't remember if 1KB, if Kilobyte implemented this one or where it came from. No, you don't get piety from killing firewood, Tumalo. There have been, I think, various bugs with related to killing firewood in, in all sorts of forms, but no, you shouldn't get piety. But this was a unique that was in, um... It used Tukima's dance, and it spawned with a ton of, like, dancing weapons. And, um... In branches like Snake, there's a lot, so the idea is that it would... It would, um... It would animate weapons around it was supposed to be the idea and it was like you know uh it was the, it was themed as like a spooky ghost unique cool certainly like a cool idea so we just took those stairs again no reason to do that um but it didn't really work too well wow these this level is uh pretty good And uh, so I added back Terpsichore just because, hey, why not? And it actually got a kill in Nostalgia, I think. Yep, exactly one kill. Somebody, somebody, a level 20. Wow. That's impressive. I didn't realize it was level 20. Died to Terpsichore. Yeah, in Snake, where there are a ton of weapons. And it was it also died to the animated weapon. That's that's pretty great stuff. So yeah, that was Terpsichore. Not a very effective unique because it was just really hard for Terpsichore to actually generate, you know, near weapons. So didn't work out so well. But the bug was pretty funny because uh, Nostalgia was a we merged in Nostalgia by taking old commits and basically reverting the changes that remove the stuff and those reverts are just commits they're just like you know when you do a revert it changes lines of code just like any normal commit it just happens to be going through the lines of a commit that removes something and well the revert can either do you know removals or additions but anyway just going through all the the change lines and turning them from turning the, the remove lines into pluses, etc. It's just a commit that reverses the work that was done in the original commit. So it's really no different than the than a normal commit. It's just conceptually we think of it as being a, as a thing, as a special thing. So we took all those original commits that removed, say, Terpsichore or whatever, and we just rebased... Um, we just rebased the revert commits. And so um, all sorts of new things. So Nostalgia had all the current features and it just had other stuff added in. And all the new spells and everything, all the spells in 0 0.15. And um, it had Monstrous Menagerie, for instance. This that I did right here, I don't like this. I don't like my ideas. I don't have good ideas sometimes. And this is one of those times. There we go. And um, the spells for monsters are defined like one after the other, one after each other, basically. And uh, the Terpsichore spell, uh, 
the one that she had was defined right after Monsters Menagerie, but when I rebased the commit to revert it, to revert the removal, I didn't add a break in the case statement. So it's like a big case statement, like, is it this spell? Do this. Is it this spell? And so if you don't add a break statement to a switch, to a case statement in a switch, it falls down to the next case, and that's used intentionally in a lot of code. And so what happened is that every time she cast um, Tukima's Dance, she also cast Monstrous Menagerie, so it was like she got both spells for free. So it made for some pretty confusing bugs. People are like reporting like, how come Terpsichore also has Monstrous Menagerie? We're like, well, she doesn't. But she in fact did. Yeah, that she would have needed to be placed with... I mean, in some branches there's tons of weapons just laying around, but there's unfortunately just no guarantee. And there's also the fact that... Um, what What is the other... I keep going back and forth to Awful Stairs. What are the... Oh, they're both there, that's why. Oh wow, look at this. What's up here? Hmm... Okay, we can survive this. But there's also a ghost, and I don't know what that ghost is. This is like the level you really don't want to stair dance like this. Yeah, and, and you can't guarantee that, you can't make the, the you can't really, it's not, you're not supposed to seal a unique in a vault that want when it can move, so it just didn't work. Really cool theme for a unique, and you could probably design something like that that somehow worked if you thought about it, but it's kind of not meant to be. Hopefully things are enough so that I can just overwhelm these guys, yeah. We did it. Now I can check out this ring nail. It is, I mean, that's what I'm, you see me, I'm like getting, I'm taking a ton of damage. Oh man, Streets of Rage. I mean, I have a lot of extra AC, so that's, when I say you don't want to stair dance it, this character can kind of stair dance it a bit better, because he's got 16, 14 defenses, which most mages aren't going to have anywhere close to this much AC. So stair dancing would be a lot scarier, but this guy can kind of do it, all right. I'm gonna go upstairs. Well, that's a lot of int. But honestly, it's so bad. Uh... Yeah, you can see, like, with all that extra strength, I barely get any effect. But I can't, um, I can't enchant it, so it's like, you know, it's not really doing anything for me. It's giving me two more AC and a little bit of GDR, but actually not even giving me any more AC. It's literally the same and it's probably lowering my EV. Yeah it is, so it's it's like strictly worse basically. Well it's not quite that because it is giving you some appreciable GDR but and the int is nice for spell power. That is a lot of int. However, we are going to stick with our our leather armor because that's that's just how we're going to roll. Yeah, 250 HP. You get so my uh, ogre. I don't know what. Um, what was my max HP? 318. It didn't get all that higher than 300. I think I did have near max fighting, and of course I was XL 27. Have to go in dragon form if you want to see the crazy. Okay, so this guy, Chikuru. Oh, this guy, I recognize this guy from a Reddit post. Troll, that's a troll with blink, a little bit scary. He doesn't have any um, cold resist though. So if we freeze him enough, it should be okay.
Yeah, I used to do stuff like that where I would like do crazy buffs whenever I send it, but then all it did is make queries for games you've won, like for what your for what your stats were and all stuff like that. Annoying, so then I stopped doing that. Because it's sometimes nice to be like, oh yeah, how did that guy look when I ascended him? And it's a lot easier if you can just do it as a as an LG query and not have to like figure out if you had to look at the milestone instead so that it wasn't insane. Gotta get these wands before Marvin PA removes them. Psyche. She's one that, um, yeah, this is perfect for having, like, allies. Okay, hello. She, uh, did a good job of, uh, dancing right through. Gourmand is kind of nice on a mage. Probably not going to buy a Gourmand amulet though. I can go ahead and put it in the list. I can't even afford it, but it's not that good of an amulet. So D9 and um, no layer. Looks like we've. Not gonna get an early layer. Hmm. Shadows are scary. This is a lot of yaks, but we might be all right. We'll probably finish this guy off with a wand. Don't have any uh, cure mutes, so I'm not really going to mess around with mutations. Mutations can kind of mess with a mage a little bit more so than they do with melee guys. Like if you get placid magic or something like that, it's a real pain. Okay, so I just got transference. That's the swap. For that, I do need to train some invo. We'll stop at 8. Take a brief break from that and train info. This is probably the layer entrance right here. Like the four wargs one. Yeah, almost certainly. Indeed, that's exactly what it was. Roka, that's uh, really nasty unique. I've got a ton of summons. Uh, I've, I theoretically have a ton of, su ton of summons. So if I just, um, there we 
go. She went invis, but with all those monsters around her, couldn't do much. And I think... Is that the one that... Banishment... Does she have... Oh yeah, she had Banish. She went invisible, so... Good thing that they got that kill. Well, Lucy'd probably be happy to see another victim, I guess. Wouldn't be all that difficult to escape the abyss. I've got 13 telly, but obviously, yeah, I don't want to... Would like to avoid that if I can. Oh, wow, I remember this song. I should save this. Sadly, I can't save Castlevania Symphony of the Night because that one gets uh, the Sony Music Catalog blocks that one. Some of them, uh, many of them will trigger copyright, which I don't really care about. All it does for, like, what the way it works is on Twitch, it will get the, though, if they detect any kind of copyright, they'll just mute the VOD for that section, which kind of sucks, but it's not that big of a deal because, um, most songs don't trigger it and you know uh i mostly upload the videos to youtube if i want if it's a complete uh run of the game like that ogre that i just finished i'll upload to youtube but on youtube what some of them that'll trigger copyright will um mean that i can't monetize the video which i'm fine with because i'm not monetizing it anyway However, some songs, like if it's a major commercial work, trigger it so that it's restricted, like in some countries like Germany has this Gemma rule that's something of, you know, some, some copyright ag agreement, so it's kind of more aggressive. And, and then some for all countries will also trigger this and it gets the entire video muted, which is obviously not good. And Sotenun is one of the very few game soundtracks that where that will happen. I can go back and edit out the audio for that portion, but it's um, obviously I prefer to not have to do that. So I don't really want to go any li deeper than D10. Uh, you can do D11, of course, but it's not it's not really ideal. This character is, of course, really strong, but. Layer 1 is going to be less scary than your average D11. Amnesia. Throwfoss is still a little bit useful. I actually don't have anything I want to amnesia quite yet. We still got this whip. I wonder when I'm going to finally... Um, Say goodbye to Bij Jixt. Welcome to the Lair of Beasts, the Lair of Fruit. The horrible place of your nightmares where every fruit that you dislike will be all around you. Okay, so with Hydras, I can basically just uh, summon spam, and if I have MP left over, um, use Conj to finish it off. So, so Hydras are really no problem for any IE if you 
if you have some in ice piece. And if you're using conj, you can of course just icicle them as well. Snaz cucumber spotted indeed. And I remember the days when that was the go-to. You had to actually go look out for the Snaz cucumber if you wanted to wield that upon ascension. And then we changed it so that there aren't just different types of fruit, so you can't really quite do that. It's not really the same. I think the tiles are randomized. Oh yeah, so one of the things you might want to do, if, especially if you've got summons, is the turn that you enter into lair is just make, spend all of your MP and make all the summons and then start moving a bit because if you get something just out of LOS that's really bad like a pack of monsters or Hydra or whatever, it's really good to not have the layer stairs shut off and it gives you a better chance to at least fight your way out. That that was notable for me on speed runs with uh, summoners but it, it applies to casual runs too. I didn't really do it right there, I should have. Now, if you don't have summons, there just may not... I mean, you can use your conjurations, but you may just not be able to do it, and that can kind of suck. If the stairs are bad enough, some people will, like, actually go to orc, which, you know, this character could certainly survive an orc just fine. Just there... That actually happens a lot more in orc than it does in lair. My last Hep character actually had a really... I was kind of not feeling the character, I sort of didn't really want to play it, and it had a really nasty orc entrance with uh, orc warlord right right near the stairs, and then I sort of randomly blinked around and there was a stone giant. I actually just quit, uh, quit the game. It was a mummy uh, venom mage. But this should be a stronger character that I probably won't quit, no guarantees. God, that is this the same. I got this vault like my last game. Oh man, that poor yak. Wait, do I have my core? No. Oh god, more fruit. Spiny frogs are really scary. This guy does have a ton of extra AC, but you can see he did a pretty good job. I was sort of fighting him with a bunch of other wolves around me, which wasn't the best, but they can just do so much damage. Black Mamba's the same thing. Oh, well, is that what this is from? This is the... I, I was a huge, huge fan of Mario 64. I never really played... I played uh, Sunshine, actually. I, I played through all of that one, but I never really played most of the other 3D ones. I know that... I know Mario Galaxy series is pretty... It's got a good reputation, but I guess I'm kind of 3D Mario'd out. So I'm cutting out my XP a lot because you can see I'm actually using summons a ton. That's kind of because I don't have any MP support. A little bit. Like with Sip I'd be doing channel and stuff. Behemet would give me MP on kills, which it... It's not reliable with that, but it definitely adds up. Enchanted Demon Trident, ouch. Yeah, that's I'm unfortunate that I woke uh, Urug up. Those uh, javelins are, are painful. Crap. Crap.
I remember these stages in Sonic. They were so weird. I remember the kind of the evolution of all these like weird. Jeez, that's why Komodo dragons. They do so much freaking damage. Uh, Uruk has javelins, and uh, yeah, Uruk got some buffs, definitely. I mean, not the most dangerous, unique, not even close, but... I wouldn't be surprised if he had a pr pretty decent, um... Pretty decent kill ratio. I'm guessing, what, 4%? 4% is my guess. Not a very good guess, but... Query may take a while. But yeah, um, ranged attack is pretty strong, and I mean, yeah, if you if you stab Uru, yeah, it'd be trivial, but most people can't stab Uru. God, yeah, <laughs> those levels were really bizarre. And you got really sick of this music, too. The uh, first series, God, and then Erica. That query just straight not run. Interesting. I didn't mistype it, did I? Maybe it just timed out. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, it's a lot lower. 2.8%. Better than. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Better than some uniques. Actually, better than Asterion. Down she goes. My positioning there was just to maximize the summons coverage. That's why I moved back the way I did, because I knew the Ice Beast would start to move. I, I knew she would move forward, and the Ice Beast would be able to move around her. And I think she killed um, my ancestor, but... The, she died really qu really quickly. Or did she kill him? Yeah, she killed him with Orb of Energy, which can hurt, actually. Uh-oh. Sound of Silence instrumental. That's a potential copyright problem. The thing about that is that if, um... They, the, re the way they know the copyright is by an audio match, so if that's the instrumental, it could, uh, it could still trigger it. If it's like a totally different instrumental, it should be okay though. As in like different, different instruments. But if it's like the instrument, the original instrumental, yeah, that would, that would be a problem. There's Urug. At least we have full HP. Um, oh, do I have arm missile up? I really freaking should. There we go. Now we got that up, so it's not great to also have the frog to deal with. I'm gonna make another summon and another summon. Yeah, he's cutting through my summons pretty well. And he's also got a demon trident. I can't tell if Uru got boobs. Yeah, Uru, Uru is a girl. Oh, crap. Yeah, so there you go. He's doing really good damage. I'm actually going to teleport. Good thing is that if I spend... Oh, it looks like we got spider. Wow, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. Layer 2. Yeah, because we shortened it. Oh, come on. Don't do this. This was close to Uruk. That's nah, far enough. The song really does have excellent instrumentals. Yeah, this isn't the original. Hopefully this will be okay. Don't really love the trumpet, but the rest is great.
Dang, skipped. Down goes the Hydra. Ice Beast Supremacy. This is, uh, yeah, kind of played mostly as a summoner. I mean, I'm using some Kanj, but I am doing a lot of summons. Probably more than most Gree do. But you can see how strong Ice Beast is. It does, uh, it makes life easy. More Hydras. Can kind of just use a. Uh, did actually quite good damage. And yeah, I, doing uh, icicle, I got it got next to me. Thankfully, I had um, an ally to finish it off. But I would have had to. I would have had to eat some hits, which actually wouldn't have been the worst because I do have uh, GDR and AC. Wow, so we got shoals and we got spider, is that? Unless it was a special vault, it is almost certainly spider. Could be a mimic, of course, but probably isn't. Yeah, there's the spider vault. Well, easy poison branch, and um, would have been nice to get swamp as well because I've got thar poison, but no big deal. So that's eight and eight. At this point, I might want to think about. Um, weapon. Transference is down to, to no fail, so that's cool. That damn free killing is one of Gamelon. Don't even have to check. I already know it was him who requested that. There's nobody, nobody else would do that. Only he would. Yeah, it's not gonna hurt actually. I've got a Morning Star of Draining. I don't have any enchant weapon though. Guess I can. Oh hey, look, brand weapon. That's cool. There's our friend. Maybe I can. God, again, another frog. Every time I encounter Uruk, there's a frog involved. Okay, I think he's finally out of. Finally out of Javelin, which is great. There you go. Demon Trident, that's actually a really great weapon. And what is my pole arms? Pole arms is minus one. I mean, that's a pretty sick weapon to have as a mage type guy. No, that's that's gotta be he's that that's not right. He's manipulated the playlist clearly to implicate me. That is completely false. Don't anyone, don't fall. He's full of tricks like that. 
he knows all the tricks. Yeah, I I always tell people don't try not to buy into the um, polearm plus summons meme because really if you build your character the right way in the early game um, it is true that it's good to get some safe free damage but later on you take a massive hit to your damage output if you're doing it behind summons so all you're doing is you're like making your melee crap you know in exchange for not taking damage but it's really not necessary so it's kind of cool to still have it as like you know for a few situations when you can you can poke at something for some reason you don't want to get slowed by like a death cob or whatever relatively trivial enemy that you don't need a lot of damage but it's really situational so i tend not to i most of my summoner type characters do use just normal weapons nothing wrong with pole arms of course because they do they do have a uh, good damage but they're also a lot of xp but yeah demon trident is obviously not a lot of xp but people uh, overrate that. Overrate that a lot. <clears throat> not that there's not some benefit, but it's just overall you don't want to be doing it too much. If if you're extensively using a weapon for uh, for damage, it's good to have the weapon do good damage. Yeah. For a mage, it is a little bit nicer. I mean, I've got a lot of extra AC, and I'm probably going to have somewhat close to 30-30 defenses, might, would be my guess, because of all that GDR. So I have a I have somebody who's more than capable of poking next to next to monsters. I'm so, I mean, I don't think Reach is all that overrated overall. I think it's a really strong. I mean, whether or not it's fun is one thing, but it's really strong. But specifically, reaching through allies. Because it's like, now you do 50% damage, isn't that great? And usually the characters that are doing that don't... They're normal melee characters, so it's like, why, did you, why do you need to be doing it behind allies? Use the allies to get additional damage and on top of what you're doing, and you'll kill the monster more quickly and you'll take a lot less damage. But yeah, it is a te if you do do allies plus pull arms, it's definitely a technique that you want to know about. Oh, good. And be aware of. All aware of in the sense that uh, you can use it uh, for th for th anything that like has a bad AF type that you just can't deal with, like distortion. That's a great instance to use it for sure. Um, but also be aware when you are using it that you're nerfing your damage, and don't forget that um, your damage is really crap. But in the early game, it is kind of nice because then you're doing like zero skill or low skill melee and you're just looking to get some extra damage in with the pokes and you can't really afford to... Your character doesn't have the proper defenses at that point. Yeah, the timeout, the timeout gets... I wonder if that's actually a setting I can change for Nightbot. I need to check that. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So pretty safe to say, well this is good, we'll get to do, if there's any crazy good weapon, um, how many slots, I've got a lot of slots for you. Beware the Minotaur. Oh, wow, Jerk Store. Yeah, for Crawl, there's not... Uh, Yogi the Monk actually streams DCSS somewhat uh, frequently. At least I've seen him. And uh, he has a great stream. Does all sorts of great NES games and speedruns and stuff. Best of NES. And also a lot of other RPGs. Including maybe some other roguelikes. I'm not sure. But there's not too many roguelike game streamers out there. Get down if you miss one. Gotta gotta fight that Minotaur.
Oh wow, we got a book of power, and I did not even notice this, guys. Holy shit. Oh yeah, I vaguely recall picking up that book, and I did not even pay attention to it. Well, that's good. Conjuration's Earth, Iron Shot, and OOD. Pretty good spells, if I do say so myself. IMB. I think we might even uh, do some spell memorization right freaking now. Right now. Guess I can go ahead and do Fulminant. Yeah, um, there's a lot of small streamers who just like are doing it without a lot of followers that you can catch and, and chat with who would probably appreciate the viewers. What you can do is, you probably know this, but you can uh, follow games. I have DCSS followed. I don't check it too much because mostly when I'm on Twitch, Twitch I'm watching, um, I'm streaming or I'm watching other streamers that, you know, like more speedrun type streamers. But I do check it from time to time, and there's there's people doing like random crawl streams and and any other roguelike you might care about. All right, I guess we're ready to uh, go in. I've got dig. I've got teleport. This should be uh, pretty easy. Well, we're already in the stone. Gosh damn it! God damn that Brannock renaming monsters just to make my life worse. Oh wow, this is going to be a fast lab. It's going to be a fast lab, boys. Oh wow, holy shit. A really fast lab. Um, might be able to do this with just... Ah, uh, partially resists. I see. We're gonna have to break out with the ice beasts to supplement because he's uh severely wounded. Do I have any magic? I do have a magic pot. Can I work? Oh, I don't... No, I can't. I don't have MP. Um, well, it's just a question of how to finish them off efficiently. Could haste. Don't want to do anything remotely like melee. Got a plate armor, that's fun. So, um, just want to basically avoid wasting valuable consumables like magic and haste. And Viz I'm more cool with. This would be a pretty good one right now. Because he'll have a hard time tracking me down. Oh yeah. There he goes. Down he goes. Oh, it was artifact. Nice. a little dangerous of course because he could like hit you on that turn but a little trick I do that is just one of those convenience things is turn off auto pickup before you start walking over the loot piles so that you can actually see what you're picking up because that can be really annoying you get to the loot and you pick up a bunch of stuff and you're like what the hell did I even pick up boots of stealth thank goodness should have gone death oh wow Two fruit, not one. This is a two fruit lab. We got both fruits. We got two of them. And the 22 arrows. That's a lot of twos. A lot of twos. Ice blast. Paralysis. CBOE. Theoretically, I could use that. Yeah, the evening star. That is true, I could brand it. That is um, better aptitude than the demon trident. It's not 27 arrows. Could be that generous. So you don't want to like overdo, you don't want to give like, you know, all the loot away. Yeah, this Wizlab kind of has 
somewhat crappy. Oh, there was that ring. What did we get on the ring? Oh, wow. That's a ring right there. Arlek, RC. Oh, I don't need Arlek, right. But RC and MP plus 9, that's big. Lose a little bit of dodging, but or uh, EV, but that's at least something somewhat decent. And then, yeah, the Evening Star. MP plus 9 is indeed huge. Big. Big. Let's try branding it. Damn it. Oh well. The only other problem with this is that I don't actually have... Um... Okay. I don't actually have enchant for it. Oh, there we go. I think it may be time to... Well, I'm going to actually lose even more decks. Wow, my decks is really low. How's it... Oh, because it's minus four. Shit. Well, it's not the end of the world. That's probably going to cost me another, like, two EV or something. But I'm going to do it. I'm a bold... Crumbles to dust. <laughs> I like that message order. It crumbles to dust and it stops glowing. I will do this focused. Auto pickup. Recognize this somewhere. Oh, it's the man fan art. Get him surrounded with uh, summons and make it so all your summons can hit him. Be very effective. He does have Icicle though, which he's pretty good with. There he goes. And there is a Staff of Cold, which is a pretty cool staff for me to have. It's a big spell power increase. Now if I want to cast, and that applies to Summon Ice Beast as well, anytime I want to cast I want to switch over to that. Wow, another ring. This is really good Gamma Funk and not Eric Anzar luck, all those drops right here. Kind of luck that Gamma Funk expects. <laughs> Syndacalism. I don't even know what that word means. Beat up the Elven Wizard. Such bullying of the elven wizards, not fair. An act. I'm not going to get too much. Syndicalism, a movement hits of Jesus. Oh my gosh, what nerd uh, put that in? Kami artifact. Figures. 
Huge nerd put that in. Get the nerds off the dev team, I say. Oh boy. Whoops. How did that happen? Probably should mostly uh, do Staff of Cold and then just switch when I actually want to hit something. That accuracy. So the next spell for us would pretty much be Iron Shot. Um, I mean, not, I mean, yeah, with the staff, I don't really need to... I'm already near max, so yeah, I should really stop training that and probably go with Iron Shot. That would be an excellent spell to move up to. That would be a huge... Uh... Oh, we also have Battle Sphere, did I? Oh, damn, I found a Book of Conj. Was that in the lab? No, level 3. Found it on this level. Well, well... Not paying attention to the books I'm picking up. Learning how to play with patience and forethought. Well, that's good. We probably don't have. We need to. We need to put uh, jerk stores, Nick. Ninety-two percent splat ratio. Oh my goodness! Indeed. Now I ignore Chaberdos' splat ratio. That's. He, I mean, he, I'm not going to go into details, but he cheats basically. And you'll notice that I am on top at fourteen percent. Aragonzars is lower than I had thought at thirty-three. Flood Killers is also somewhat low. Even Lightly is down to well below fifty percent. Lightly and Darkly. Lord Sloth. Oh, we need to add him. You can add this yourself, but I've been doing it for people because uh, syntax is a little bit confusing. Oh, is Arg in there? Oh, yeah, no. He, I just talked about him. Yeah, of course he's in there. Wow, this is some... Um, That's great. Staff of Cold Melee. Powerful. I probably should uh, make that not a thing. Icicle did work. It did work. <laughs> Ten stage, no earth. Mummies cannot have nice things. That's pretty much the rule. You should go in expecting that. Art Garfunkel remembers more of his old skill. Guess that's just like HD HP increase. I have not used any of these abilities yet. I gotta kind of keep them in mind. I've 
Idealize is, was pretty subpar when I used it um, before, but it I could see, certainly see it being useful. It'd probably be great on like a knight, something that is just tanking a lot of damage. start to work in maybe now that we've got more MP on their gall she I would kind of prefer to exclude she's not that hard to kill but kind of a pain still these are ordinary acts Yeah, that, I mean, of all the ones. I don't know why the, it's just one of those things where you're like, yeah, I have to pick the hardest species to greater. I guess once you've done that, you can really say, I don't really need to bother greater, great racing the other species because I've done the hardest one that you can do. So in one sense, it's smart. Save yourself from you're the kind of person who's like, oh, that's a challenge, therefore I must do it. Well, you know, Che, um, there's going to be some changes. Wand uh, Reform 2.0 is happening. We're removing haste, telly, and heal wounds, and there's going to be some changes to rods and wands again i'm not i don't know that mummy we've talked about giving a, maybe a mummy an app tweak but i don't know that mummies are going to get any way to deal with the heal situation so you better finish that up real soon any internet argument yeah including things like politics and other random subjects. Um, it only looks at recentish. Yeah, it's only what it's only recentish is um, it's always the last it's 17, 18 and 19 so it's the last um, three stable versions. And it's what percent of XL17 characters so your character has to get to XL17 for it to even consider it. And uh, I think that's about it. Um, it's a very it's an, a very unofficial command. It's not like any kind of actual thing. It's something I do a lot. Oh boy, this is a lot of elephants right here. You can might pot. To, to some good effect. I should have done transference or uh, idealize. What the frig? This is not the. This is not the Mega Man of my youth. Why are you saying ogres? Why are you saying ogres like they're weak? Ogres are. That's why your splat ratio is so high, is because you've been playing ogres. I mean, it's true for mummies, but ogres are stronger than most uh, species. They're one of the strongest species. <laughs> I 
Yeah, you can't fool me with that. Newbie. Newbie statement. Yeah, what the hell? Is this Elect Man? Is this really what Elect Man was in the original? It's, um, kind of minimalist. Wow, this polar- wow, this polar bear. Oh crap. Well, I guess we're fighting Nergal now. Might as well hit her. Can I? No. Damn it. Don't do that. There we go. At least that's dealt with. So yeah, don't uh, underutilize your your wands. You can see, like, I did a lot of extra damage there, not having much X MP. Obviously, I could reset the fight and do all that stuff, so... But, um... I probably don't need wands of flame too much. Ooh, dazzling. Dazzling! Gotta wear it if it's dazzling. Oh hey, look at that now. Strict upgrade. Yeah, warning. Intense dazzle. You can now drain your right. Oh yeah, yeah, right. I forgot. That's a thing too. If you do the transfer, it actually like uh, drains monsters adjacent, which is probably a fairly powerful effect, I guess. Pot. Our core, not super useful, but that will help do slime. <laughs> Free kill is pre declaring. I don't care what people think, we're not listening to Kazoo. Acapellas are one thing, but draws the line at Kazoo because that's just that's just silly. Mindelay on Evening Star. It is... wow, 16. That's more than I thought. Well, it doesn't have to go to Mindelay. I can do that. Stealth. This is a stealth character, apparently. Actually doing more for me than uh, Arcor is doing. Limited acapella, very limited aca 
Acapella is one of the free kill requests acapella like every five songs or at least once a stream. The dust glows pulsating aubergine. Aubergine. I never really read those messages. Probably get a little bit of mileage out of stealth, actually, for just not getting monsters noticing me. And I got serious deja vu right there. Because I think Chaberdos requested this very song in another stream when I was in Lair. And I was messing around with this wand. And I want to say at the same time he did it, I was identifying a wand. Maybe that, that's probably not true, but I was just like, this is weird. What What is happening? <laughs> I'm identifying a wand and I'm hearing this music again. going insane? Is my life repeating? This is pretty damn cool kazoo music, I have to say. The medieval stuff is really awesome. God, all the RC. Slime, okay. Well, that is good, but maybe that's enough. The hell? Alright, that's getting a skip, too. This is not a... What this is not is a kazoo music renaissance. We're not having that. This is not, like, the second coming of Kazoo. There will not be a revolution. God damn it. People are like, uh, unfollow. What? No more kazoo? 
Are you freaking kidding me? Un unfollow reported to Twitch. So I got one of the foresty ends that's either evil um, evil forest or uh, Spriggan. Spriggs. Which you gotta be careful for. Evil Forest is the one with the demons, <clears throat> and uh, Spriggan Forest is pretty self explanatory. Has Bogarts in it now instead of uh, Spriggan Druids. Oh, thank you for the follow. Couldn't actually see who that was, but it'll hopefully pop up in a sec. See <laughs> the bagpipes. That was also a Chaberdos thing, as I recall. Kazoo, he's brought a lot... Uh, I'm not even going to mention some of the horrible things that Chaberdos... The player I'm referring to has introduced to Tile's chat. Oh yeah, Jerkstore, thanks for the follow. Bagpipes... Which may or may not have been him. I don't really remember, actually, at this point. It's the... I've tried to suppress the memory of all the bagpipe. Was that... That was Can of Worms is who that was. I think this is Evil Forest. Welcome back, Art. So that means uh, sun demons. I mean, we've got RF, but sun demons are still really scary. And there's like a dire elephant and stuff in here. Hydra we already killed. Yeah, someday I may have to retire random tiles, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it is kind of one of my signature things. Definitely confuses people, which is part of the fun. Okay, yeah, I'm, I forget the layout of it, but I am pretty sure this is Evil Forest. Because, uh, yeah, this is definitely Evil Forest because uh, Spriggan Forest is, like, really filled with all sorts of animal monsters. This also got tweaks in Trunk to be a little bit less bad, so it's actually probably... I'm guessing it has, like, more Hydras. I'm seeing a lot of Hydras and maybe fewer Demons or something. Because it's kind of the, the end that gets the most kills... There's not too many. My uh, my vault got had lower weight for a little while, so it's probably its kill ratio is probably a little bit underestimated right now. Oh, but it's still on top. Oh, and look who's at number two, Chaberdos with his hot spot. Yeah, I want to tweak mine too, the layout as well. But I I made a very subtle tweak of just like. 
it got its monster count reduced some by a uh, regret index and and uh, I also turned off all the patrolling. Only the uh, avatar patrols now. Oh yeah, Che also has some vaults that we need to go through at some point. Yeah, okay, so that's the back door entrance. Yeah, it looks like I'm thinking Regret Index put just tons of hydras in here. On Earth now. Oh wow, it's from Kamina Burana. Uh, I actually probably have to skip this um, because that classical stuff will trigger copyright a lot of times, unfortunately. Because a lot of that catalog is well protected copyright wise. That's cool though. I haven't listened to that for I mean, I don't ever really listen to that because it's everybody listens to the one piece from that that's like the epic battle sounding thing. Oh, of course, and now we get uh, harmonica music. Because we have to go through every single instrument, don't we? It's bagpipes, a cappella, kazoo, harmonica. Somebody's gonna request, like, Super Mario played on a blade of grass. Gotta get all the ancient instruments. Xylophone, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, the xylophone, the, uh, the uh, Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> They did a port of Ninja Gaiden to like um, Genesis or Super NES and the soundtrack. It was not good. And it sounds like somebody playing xylophones. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is really cool. A lot of this medieval music is really neat. This used to be a meme. Jink, I'm really not so sure about that claim. That that seems maybe not accurate. You have to just you'll have to bring in your own song request, Jink. It's all, I don't know what else. I don't know what else we can do. So yeah, we got through this vault, there was a ton of hydras. I'm guessing there's going to be less demons than there were in the past, but there's still going to be like sun demons. But we've got our... no, with the what? Oh, I switched. Oh, I said it was strictly better and it wasn't strictly better. It didn't have RF, okay. So yeah, we're going to go put that on. Because uh, if I do get hit by a sun demon, I mean, it's really easy to, like, avoid them. I don't think they're vulnerable. <laughs> Dog song. Yeah, they are vulnerable to cold, so they, they will die somewhat quickly. It's just that they're so fast that... Uh, Hey, remember this tune? Mega Man 3 had a really nice soundtrack. This is a good opportunity to do some buffing for this fight. Also maybe idealize. Nice, good start to the fight, miscast. So I want the demons to kind of come out so that I can actually hit them. There we go, now we've got ice devils. These guys are a little bit more of a problem obviously because I can't... Well, I've got Mystic Blast. 
but now I can't use it as much. Six Furry, that's the scary one, but I've got our luck. This is where it would have been nice to have a Try a little bit of melee. If you just kind of supplement it the right way. Can I recall Ancestor? Ah, I see. Yeah, I didn't. I guess it, it might alternate. Oh wow, Demon Trident again. We've already got kind of committed to MNF, so that's not really going to happen. Let's see what our... This is an acquirement any... A ring mail. Oh, ma... Whoa! Now that's cool. Yeah, that was our acquirement item. I don't know what the loot pile is now, but... It used to be acquire any, which is like the best tier you can get. Because it considers your uh, player's skilling. But the class that it selects, what that means is like it's got a set, it's randomized by class, but then when within the class it's going to consider your skills, so you're more likely to get like, you know, um, if it chooses weapon, it's more likely to choose a mace in my case, or if it chooses a spell book, it's more likely to choose something conjurations based or maybe ice based. But that, yeah, that's a pretty good one. We'll take that. Glad I didn't enchant my helmet. Not as much AC, but it's much more of a melee hat, but the free MR is always kind of cool. Wait, this is Toho? Uh, accordion. Jesus Christ. Accordion. I'm gonna add an instrument filter to this spot. Yeah, as long as every night is not accordion slash kazoo slash acapella, etc. I agree, it's good to have that occasionally. I like the medieval stuff. I should get some, uh... I have a ton of classical music that I listen to, some of which is older medieval, like Telamon and stuff, but not really much medieval music, but some of that is really cool. Um, well, that was Lair. Pretty easy. And uh, this vault, I mean, the Ice Devils are kind of scary if you can't resist. But they're not, uh, they're, aren't they slow? No, they're speed 10, that's right, that got changed. I think they were slow at one point. But, um... I think this is the right way. Well, maybe not. Maybe they were always speed 10. Um, but this vault used to have a lot more like sun demons, just a lot more demons in general. This It has <clears throat> more hellhounds now, I think. Maybe it got more hydras in the main vault. I did see a dire elephant, which I feel always used to place, but maybe that was a chance. I, I kind of forget the details, but... It got changed. It did feel, I guess, a little bit easier. Obviously, I can deal with Hydra really easy. 
and the demons weren't weren't too bad. You can see the only thing I really had to do was some uh, ice blast at one point to soften stuff up, but I was able to take down everything with just my current MP. Sounds like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossed with Contra. I guess I don't really need this other leather armor quite so much. The extra MR probably. Metal slug, you yeah. know. Well, <clears throat> so I can get Battle Sphere, but it would be pretty cool to work on Iron Shot. It would make a lot of sense to go ahead and get Battle Sphere as well, but that plus two aptitude, we can get that down really fast. And there is a Gourmand Amulet if I want to, like, not have to worry about Spell Hunger too much. Kind of turn this guy into a little bit of an IE, I guess. <laughs> turn him into an earth elementalist. I don't really have any upgrade ice spells. All I've got is the pure conj stuff. So we'll focus this. We don't need to focus maces quite so much. And we want to put the skill training to, let's say, 14 for now. That's already a lot of skill. I'd like to have more fighting and more dodging. This is going to be a pretty hybrid-y guy, I guess. Well, sorry Jink, I will have to leave that song request for next time. And uh, yeah, that's this. That's the Ogre Ascended, and this character should be a win. Have I done this before? Nope. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, please give a follow if you haven't done that. And um, <clears throat> I'll be... Hopefully I will stream sooner than last time. I was on kind of a break. But yeah, I always make claims and then never do it. So, um... But I will try... Oh, good. Gargoyle. I don't know if I have a one in one for Ice IE yet, but that'll be that as well. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. I will be streaming Cogmind as soon as I get my first win, and I'm getting closer and closer in that game, doing combat runs, which is really difficult. Hard way to win that game. But I really do hope to stream Cogmind as well. But yeah, next stream will certainly be DCSS, and hopefully a little bit sooner than this time. So I'll see you, see you guys all then.